it's, uh, <laughs> I established the band program there. Um, it, there was no instrumental music um, when I got there. Um, like I said, it was like a community band that would get together here and there and play for certain important games or what have you. But there was no program. So I definitely, and I, I, I don't like saying it because it sounds boastful, but it is the, it's just the truth. I, I built the program from the ground up. Um, and got there in 2011 and built it from the ground up. And so um, in addition to that, uh, I created a jazz band. The jazz band um, is known as the First Thursdays Jazz Band, um, known all over Richmond, perform everywhere in Richmond, um, highly in high demand. Um, one of our biggest fundraising um, entities was the First Thursday Jazz Band. Um, in addition to concert band, pep band, all of the different bands. When I first got there, um, it was there was nothing established. I decided, hey, we're going to go to these basketball games and play at the games. Nobody said, hey, you need to sit here and play at the basketball games. I said, we're going to go to the games. And I said, hey, we're going to play. If we're playing at the boys' game, we're going to play at the girls' game. So, no, you know, I established all of that when I got there. Basically, the culture, um, the band culture on the campus of Virginia Union University, the instrumental music culture on the campus of Virginia Union University. So what was the expectation from the admin when you took on the job? Like when you, you know, got hired, what what were they expecting you to do? Then all they said was build a band because you have to understand that none of them, when I, when I got to Union, I was by myself. There was no one at Union that did what I did. So I was literally alone in the craft. Like there was... No way. It was. It's not like I could go talk to my neighbor and say, hey, what do you think about X, Y, and Z? Any other person in the department at that time, because at that time I was considered faculty. I was um, in the School of Social Sciences. sciences, And um, like I said, I was co co considered faculty. But at that time, there was no one else that taught instrumental music. And so um, they didn't really give me an expectation but to have the band ready to perform. The first year, the first year we didn't go on the field. The second year we were ready, we went on the field. Um, and we went, you know, we still did all the stuff like CIAA and all of that stuff. Um, my second year, full fledged band on the field, you know, and I mean, and from year by year, it just, it was amazing. And so you were saying, so you didn't even have a staff to work with you in the process of you building? No, I, I no, <laughs> no, I, it was just me. It was just me. Um, I eventually w was allowed to hire a part-time person, which was William Prentice, which uh, I, everybody knows who William Prentice is. Um, and so I did get to hire William Prentice. But as far as my, um, if, if you saw anybody with me, those people were volunteering. Okay. Um, they were volunteering. They were giving their time. They just believed in band and, the per and you know, just had a passion for it. So they, they were doing what, what, what we do as band heads, being there helping. And so, um, you know, and it wasn't a bunch of transient people. It was all people that I knew. But, no, I just really had to, like, teach the culture of band. And still, there's still a long way to go because at this point, when, when I was fired, it was still just me. Um, Prentice came in, but during COVID, that was it. They hadn't hired. We didn't have an assistant. They gave me uh, about a $10,000 stipend to give to the people that did help me. So it's still no staff because, you know, all of my staff have to work. And so, um, and some of them work two and three jobs. And so uh, it still was, it's still a long way to go when it comes to just teaching the culture like okay you have a hundred people in the band you got a hundred people and you got one me you got a hundred people on the football team but you got eight full-time people there you know so what's the difference there's no difference but we couldn't it was just hard to get them to see that 